Most of us are familiar with the Grimm Brothers fairy tale, The Pied Piper of Hamelin. The German town of Hamelin is besieged by rats, and the townsfolk are at a loss at how to deal with this pestilent problem. One day, a man appears dressed in an outfit of many colors and offers to rid the town of the vermin in exchange for a fee. The town elders agree on a price and the man takes out a flute and starts playing a strange tune. As he walks through the streets of Hamelin, the sound of his music brings forth the rats which follow him as he makes his way to the river. He leads them straight into the river where they all drown. Relieved as the people were to be rid of the rats, the town elders go back on their word and refuse to pay the piper for his troubles. The rat catcher returns to the town the very next day. He plays a very different melody this time, and it is the children who start following him, dancing through the streets. He leads them out of the town to the base of a mountain where a cavern opens up. The children enter the mountain and are never seen again. Now what if I told you that this little fairy tale might have some historical basis? Of course, the town of Hamelin really does exist in the German province of Lower Saxony. And to this day, the town still holds certain traditions and annual festivals in honor of the 130 missing children. There also stands two 16th century houses which bear commemorative plaques mentioning the date in which they disappeared, the 26th of June, 1284. An historical document called the Lundberg Manuscripts, published in the 1400s, also gives this date. However, there is some discrepancy as later historical notes give the date of the 22nd of July, 1376. It should be noted, however, that the earliest mentions only tell of the children's disappearance. No reason or explanation is given. It is only until the 16th century that mention of the Pied Piper is made and is popularized by English poet Robert Browning and the Brothers Grimm. Where precise dates are given for the children's disappearance, the figure of the Pied Piper is shrouded in mystery. There is clearly a supernatural quality to the Piper, but did such a person actually exist? Or was there someone who at least inspired the legendary figure? During the Middle Ages, rat catching was a popular profession due to the outbreaks of bubonic plague and rat catchers were often sought for their services. But on record, no disgruntled rat catcher with a grudge to bear has been noted. Perhaps the iconic Pied Piper was representative of the certain death that was brought on by the plague, a grim reaper type figure leading the little children away into the afterlife. However, there is no historical proof that the children did die of the Black Death or even of natural causes for that matter. The earliest date recorded, 1284, predates the first outbreaks of the plague. Due to the motif that the children were dancing as they were being led away by the piper, some claim that the disease that inflicted them was not the plague but St. Vitus's dance. The symptoms of St. Vitus's dance include uncontrollable movements of the hands, arms, face, legs, and feet. But there's no solid evidence to back this theory up either. Lastly, the most popular explanation given for the mass disappearance were what was known as 
the Children's Crusade. In 1212, when Christian crusaders in Europe failed to capture Jerusalem, two armies consisting of mostly children from France and Germany marched onto the Holy Land. Convinced that God would protect them, the children were determined to take on the Ottoman Empire. But the mission was a disaster, and many of them died along the way due to exhaustion, and the rest never made it back home. The problem with the children's crusade theory, however, is, once again, the dates. The earliest date given for the disappearance of the Hamelin kids is 1284, whereas the children's crusade, which is well documented, took place in 1212. Whatever the truth is behind this legend, the town of Hamelin celebrates its association with the Pied Piper every single year. Locals clearly hold the legend close to their hearts as a bronze statue of the iconic rat catcher stands proudly outside Hamelin Town Hall. Whether a literary hoax or a legend based on fact, the origins of the Pied Piper will continue to be a mystery.